Hi everyone, it's me Pluto and today's class is about the Sayuridae family, for sure one of nature's greatest crime syndicates. It, it, it's, a, it's a really big family and they live pretty much in all the lands except Antarctica land and, and the New Zealand land, so for sure you've probably had run-ins with certain members, the ones that call themselves squirrels. They are an elite group of rodent terrorists. And, and, and just to set the straight records, Mum, she really likes those guys. So this is all my opinion. And, and, and I'm a terrier dog, so just keep that in your mind. My job is to defend the perimeter. But, but Mum, she usually just sits around with her camera laughing at their antics. So, so, so there are 285 flavors of squirrels, and, and they come in all kinds of sizes. The, the Malabar squirrel in the Indian lands, that's the biggest, and it could grow to 45 centimeters, and it could weigh up to 1.8 kilos. Whoa! Uh, the littlest squirrel is the African pygmy. He's only like 12 centimeters, and he weighs about as much as a mouse that lives in your house. So, so the squirrel syndicate, it's pretty diverse. Anyway, anyway, the rodent terrorist faction that I deal with in the Canada lands are the eastern gray tree squirrels. Uh, for tree squirrels, they sure spend a lot of time on my back deck taunting me. So, so mostly they eat nuts and berries, and the Canuck division really, really love the whirling flying seeds from our tasty maple tree snacking bar. Oh, 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 and here's a really fun fact. No matter how much, no matter how much they eat, those rodents, they can't burp. <laughs> so, so squirrels, they're scatter hoarders, which, which means they hide snacks in a lot of different places. So, so they're also deceptive cachers. They're beady little eyes. They're high on the side of their head, which gives them a wide angle view to keep an eye on things. And if they think they're under surveillance, they will just pretend to bury the snack. But it's a deceptive tactical deke out. And then they sneak off with the goods tucked in their cheek. I, I, I mean, I don't like those squirrels, but I do respect a good snacking sneak tactic. So, so anyway, anyway, squirrels, they'll give birth to two to four new recruits twice a year. And they grow into terrorists pretty quickly. So, so, so when they're born, and, and they seem to be born a lot of times around here, they're about one inch long and they're blind and naked. I, I, I thought that was pretty funny until mom told me she was born naked. Uh, that visual was really less funny. So, so by four weeks, they're hairy and their ears and eyes open at five weeks. Then, then they start their rookie terrorist indoctrination by around week eight. And at three months, they're already out solo tormenting the four leggings. At, at five months, they have all their teeth and their, their, their incisors never stop growing ever. They could grow six inches in a year if they don't keep gnawing them down on things, which they usually do by chewing the garbage can lids or the Christmas tree lights. So, so, so the little aerial acrobats, they could hang upside down and swing from branches. They could break into the bird feeders and they scamper along really small electrical wires. wires. And I'm telling you, they're, they're as stealth as those navy blue seals. So, 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 so maybe now you know more about the squirrels and maybe you like them or maybe you don't, but, but even I know that they have a really important place in the bigger circle. So, so, so I need to accept them and, and we need to be kind to them, which, which is a lot easier to do now that I'm mostly deaf and blind. <laughs> so, so I hope you have a good week and maybe, maybe you've learned a few things about squirrels and you could do some observations in your neighborhood. Bye now.